Hey guys, it's me, Shields Cap, and welcome to a new episode of Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we started off my first Let's Play ever. And now, we are going back into Bob on Battlefield for Find the Eight Red Coins. Yes, if you can't tell, this is where the red coin stage is, the red coin thing in uh, the Super Mario Bros. movie originally. And also where all the eight red coins came so Stop! Oh, come on. Um... Okay, there we go. Uh... By the way, if you couldn't tell by my GPS video, um... I haven't... My micro GPS video? Uh, yes, I have not finished my... Animations? Anyway, no, go here. No, fall on blow up. And of course, I think that was weird. Okay, here we go. And now we have to get a good coin. red coin right here. You might think that the only way to get it is to slide. Well, two things. In the DS version, it gets a lot easier. It's still kind of easy in this version. Ready? Yeah, you can crawl down the... Well, you can crawl up the hill anyway. Um, I'm gonna probably speed this up or something if I can on my on the screen recorder. I know I can on Screencast-O-Matic, but this is, um... The, my editing program has limitations, so I might just use the YouTube editing program. But yeah, you can pull up this, you just can't pull back down. Uh, oh wow, it might not be so slow. Um, and I think after this is the seventh red coin, and then uh, we already know where the last one red coin is. It is at the floating island, which I accidentally said cannon instead of island for some weird reason. Ah, finally I can fall back down the mountain. Yeah, I do. So, um... Yeah, but the island does have three. Also, if you have turbo, here is the recommended speed option. That I invented. If you were wondering what I was doing... Run. Turbo B. Bam. Infinite... Rolling. Uh, I'm not gonna skip. Um. Glitchy Bob, I'm still there walking. The Glitchy Bob is still doing the moonwalk, unaware that he, unaware of his surroundings. I like that about him. He's cool. And the DS version is facing the other way, by the way. I'll uh. Um, you will see what those coin rings over there are about in a few, in a course. Hint of what they are. <coughs> that I failed to do. I was going to try to hit one of the coins because when you hit one of the coins, something special happens. The one is like, um... Oh, there. 
Um, this star marker will show where the power star will appear. Here we go! Um, I didn't read the sign about that on camera, but I figured I might as well tell you guys right now. Um, sorry, I just had to, uh, adjust my seat since my, uh, GameCube controller, uh, can't reach. Let's skip that and go into the next course. The next course that I cannot currently do. Here's why. Um, those, the, you basically have to get the center of each coin. It is possible to do in the N64 version, but I'll let that explain itself. Um, to cheat this. Um, we have not gotten what we currently need. We need 12, I think, stars. Wait, no, 14. It's, um, yeah, it's 14 in the DS version. I'm not sure how many it is in this version. Um, because the, uh, required star amounts change. Well, the shortcut, I guess. Yeah. And then I didn't have to walk all the way up to the mountain. Even though I have successfully managed to put the tree on camera. Um, alright. Now, I will let that explain itself. Guess what? So, we have to hit the center of each coin, then, right? Look at that draw distance. Yeah, I think it's kind of obvious. Why. Um, and because of that, we are going to be actually exploring a new course right now since we can't do that. Anyway, we are going to open up my, the, one of the most known courses in the game. The music is the same as Bob on Battlefield, but this has had a, an appearance in the last world of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Welcome to Wonk Sports. Hello, the Lockatoo brother coming in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is, he has to walk up very slowly in order to walk quietly. Um, this was a lot easier in the DS version since there was a separate button for running fast. But anyway, we'll, we'll um, in, we'll initially explore all of the courses when we. Uh, I should probably mention about that that um, there was actually an area um, in the DS version over there. Um, and it was to get a star that is not in this version of the game, um, called the Switch Star, uh, Star Switch, which is basically this switch that, um, creates a star and a crystal. The, uh, the crystal was on that hidden island. Uh, I do want to mention there was also still a fence there. And that also did show off the Mega Mark. Yes, the Mega Mushroom did not actually debut in uh New Super Mario Bros. Yes. It actually debuted in Okay, one life left. So let's just not take that route. Let's actually explore a different world. I almost made it. But here is the short route. Uh, I should also mention if you manage to kill a piranha plant by Diving into it, or no. That doesn't mean it's happening. Um. Then he will give you a blue coin. Anyway, faster. This basically lets you go to the top level. Uh, and you can basically do a trick here without the risk of dying because for some reason I'm sucking when I run on camera. Uh, even though my whole point of let's play this game was that when I let's play a game, or only, um, start fresh, um, it was a game that I'm really experienced with. Sorry, that was, that was, yeah, um, I didn't, I didn't, um, yeah, okay, so I heard that, that was my mom calling my sister to get breakfast, so. Uh, if you were to um, they'll give you air, yes. Okay, so, does this mean you need a lot of points? Yes, 
concerns me if I'm sleeping. Cutie, I'm going to sleeping. Okay, now let's just run in. Oh, yes, we made it. Eat. This is the introduction of Wops, a new enemy. Um, I am gonna go over a lot of the DS version facts, but I'm not gonna be able to go, but I'm not gonna end up going over glitch facts. Uh, which is foreshadowing, uh -huh. saying there's a glitch right there. Um, that's gonna be the only one I show off. Um, if you stand on this for long enough, there's a chance that they might just, um, lose their timing. And, like, uh, it doesn't affect any gameplay, it's just really fun. Anyway. It makes me so mad. We built your houses. Okay, no way I do this. We pay your ro we pay your roads and still you walk over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not gonna wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Okay, that toad really did get sick. Honestly, that is one sick toad. In that he has a cold because even his scratchy voice is just even. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, Wimp. Ha! Yeah! Ha! That is his... No! Okay, whatever. Uh, if you can't tell, the way to want is normally with one hit. This is a boss, so it takes three to kill him. Uh, even though Bowser, you only have chance to kill this. Um... No. Oh, that was cool. Uh, I should probably mention, like I said, Super Mario Galaxy 2 had this. Um, in the Super Mario Galaxy 2 mission, what you were obligated to do, you came up here and there was a regular looking womp. You killed that womp and a hole opened in the floor. You fell through the floor and landed on the bottom and you, like, gravity was gravitating, you were gravitating toward the bottom and I just realized I saved. Yeah. Ah, oh, whatever. This better not be a failed recording. Anyway, top of the pages. Uh, this is another fun fact. Uh, I should also mention... Oh yeah, I should also mention... You know how every boss in this game so far has had a speech? Yeah. Well, in Super Mario Galaxy 2, there's something really funny that happens. If you die three times in a row against King Womp, then... Instead of doing his speech, which is identical to this one, except he says dang it at the end in a separate speech, but not necessarily his dialogue. Um He will actually say that if you still realize you build your house in your castle, you're already oh, tired of his speech. Uh just try and pound me when I've been in the battle game. So just another fun fact about this. No, 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 okay. No. Um, and then there's actually another fun fact that I'm about to get into right here. So, in this level, we are actually going to come back up here. But, instead of what we had before, we have this thing and there's a star. This is a bullet trap. I'm going to let him hit me, and I'll tell you why while, as we get started. Okay, anyway, now he's hit me. Uh, the reason that I was actually going to let him hit me was because... In the original Super Mario 64, that is the only bullet bill in the game. I'm serious. And Shigeru Miyamoto, or at least I think that's the person who was developing really worked really, really hard on the bullet bill. So, whenever you see that bullet bill, in this version or the DS version, do yourself a favor and let him hit me. On or here, here we go. All right. So we have six stars, and we have started Womp's Fortress. Let's go do another course. Thought that was gonna be the ending. Nah, it's only the 14 minute one. Shoot into the wild blue! Okay, I kind of wish I had ended the video. Because of how stupid this course is. You know what? Watch. 
Actually, no, my microphone isn't that sensitive, even if it does seem like it. It didn't pick up those voices earlier, I really didn't myself. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Uh, alright. Cannon beginning. To open. Hey, flat dog, come on, hop into the cannon. I'm pretty flat dog, come on, hop into the cannon. Yep, all of them are open. I don't know why I'm so cute. Then again, Toto's super stretchy. I could get the little coin right now and set my coin right there really high. But I'll save that for the 100 coin star. What is the 100 coin star, you may ask? Foreshadowing, we, we will find out later. Um, I'm always going to do them at the end of the courses. Basically, you collect 100 coins. Um, you get a star. That's all it is. That's all it is. Alright, if I miss this time, then I will just cut ahead to when I do make it. I am well past the 15 minute mark. Mm. Alright. Meet you then. Alright. I did what the course said. And I shot into the wild blue. And I died. And we're well past the 15 minute mark. So. Guess that just about does it. We're going to end this off right here. Ready for it? Oh, wait. No, let's talk about this first. I love that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Beware. Yeah. Alright, hey dude. Hey dude. Mm -hmm. It was faster than stole the service! I saw him with my own eyes! He's in six stars in each course, but you won't find all of them in some courses until you press the cap switch it. This is what they're talking about with Mario Winston's guy. I mean, what I'm talking about. Stars you found will show you on each course starting screen. If you want to see some of the enemies that you've already defeated, select the star you've recovered from them. Help me! Yeah! Alright, no, seriously. Next time on Super Mario 64, we're going to be heading deeper into Wamp's Fortress. Hopefully getting 14 stars by then, doubtfully though. Since, uh, never mind. And, well, see you guys then.